Hello and welcome to Ben Rosser's Conservatorium of Audio. I'm Ben Rosser, and today we're going to be taking a look at Ableton Live 8's beat repeat effect. It's quite an interesting effect, can give you some rather interesting sounds. And for those of you who like that bit of glitchy sounding audio, you can get some great sounds out of it. So we're starting today with a live session which has a few different audio samples in it. These samples are the different elements of the beat we created in the Advanced Drums with Ableton Live 8 tutorial, which is now available on our website. So we've got some various elements here, including a kick, a snare, our main hi-hats, some shuffle hi-hats, some chopped up bits of an amen break, just for that extra bit of flavour, a tambourine, and some congas. So we'll just play that one so that you can hear what that sounds like. So, a bit of an interesting, fairly full beat there. And we're going to take the beat repeat effect and chuck it on a few different elements and see what sort of a sound we can come up with. So, there's various different presets which are available with the beat repeat effect. We're actually going to start with the microfills preset. We're going to chuck that one on our snare drum to start off with. So, if we hit play on the snare... You can hear we're not getting very much at the moment, as there's a few things that we'll need to adjust in the preset in order to get the sort of sound that we're after. There's various controls available in the beat repeat effect. So starting on the left hand side we've got our interval, which determines how often the beat repeat effect comes in. We've got our offset, which determines when it comes in relative to the start of the interval. We've got our grid which determines how finely the audio is getting chopped up. We've got a variation control so that we can get different beat variations and different repeat variations in there. Down on the bottom left we've got our chance control which determines what chance the beat repeat effect has of coming in at its particular interval. A gate control to determine how long the beat repeat effect comes in for. We've got a pitch control to allow us to pitch down the repeats, which can give quite an interesting effect, as we'll see. A pitch decay, which allows us to slowly decay the pitch of the, the repeats as they keep happening. We've also got a filter on the top right here, which allows us to filter the repeats so that they have a bit of a different sound to the overall original sound. And on the bottom right, we have various controls to allow us to control how the original sound and the repeats interact with one another. For example, we can choose to mix the two together. We can choose to insert the repeats so that when the repeats are playing, the original sound is completely stopped. Or we can choose to gate the repeats. So basically all we'll hear then is the repeats on their own and no original sound at all. We've also got a volume control which only adjusts the repeats and a volume decay, which, much like the pitch decay, allows us to decay the volume over time with each individual repeat. So, the first thing we're going to do so that we can get a bit of an effect on the snare is we're going to adjust our offset so that it's actually affecting the snare rather than not affecting anything at all. And we'll see how that one sounds. As you can see, with the gate control turned on, all we're getting is just the repeats at the moment. However, if we go back to mix, we'll hear both the original sound and the repeats. As you can see, getting a, a bit of a glitch after the snare hit there. It's not affecting every snare hit, as we've got the chance control set to 64.6%, .6%, as you can see. If we turn that one up to 100%, as you'll see, it'll affect more of the, the snare hits. As you can see, we're also getting a bit of variation there. So if you just wanted a simple sort of sound, you could turn the variation down to zero. And 
as you can see, you can get the same type of repeat every time. Now if we'll turn that one up a little bit so that we're getting some sort of variation in there, get a bit of a different sound. If you want a bit of a finer glitch happening, you can turn the grid down a little bit. And as you can see in the display at the top, the repeats are now chopped a bit more finely. And it does allow you to go quite extreme with that as well. We've also got a couple of other controls, including a button we can push to keep the repeats happening continuously. We've got a button to prevent beat repeat from creating triplet repeats which you'll find with certain beats you'll need to put on, otherwise the repeats just don't quite sound right. And you've also got a control to adjust how the repetitions are triggered. And you've also got a control to adjust how the repetitions are triggered, which is quite handy. So we'll have a look at how the filter can affect the sound. As you can see, you get all sorts of different characters. And that combined with the pitch control can give you some quite interesting sounds. As you can see. Our pitch decay control, as you can see, is turned up a little bit at the moment. If we turn that one up a bit further, and bring our grid down a little bit. As you can see, the pitch falls with each individual repeat, which is quite handy. And the same with our volume decay. You can get the volume to decay with each individual repeat. So if we turn that one down to zero, you get a much more stronger effect than you get when you turn it up. And with it turned up, you tend to notice that the repeats are falling away a bit more, which can give you quite an interesting effect. One of the things I do quite like to do with the beat repeat effect is to put it on gate. Right click the title bar and go to group, which then puts our beat repeat effect in an audio effect track. So we'll just rename this chain to beat repeat so that we know what that one's doing for us and we'll also just right click in there and create a new chain which we'll rename to clean. What this allows you to do is have a bit more control over the original clean sound and the repeated sound as well as the fact that you can add extra effects after the beat repeat on its own chain whether you're using reverbs or delays, just to give that repeat an extra bit of flavour, which can be quite handy. Also gives you a bit more control over the volume and the panning of both the original and the repeated sound.